Hello, my name is uh, Fraukje Kruijsen. I uh, work as a scientist uh, market and trade for World Fish and I'm based in Amsterdam. Uh, I'm, I'm also involved as a focal point for uh, the gender initiative of the Life Cycle Fish program. Um, what I've been working on is to, uh, with a group of people to try and integrate the gender transformative approach into value chain analysis. So what we've done is we've developed a set of tools that, are, that can be used as a standalone uh, toolkit or can be used integrated into a complete value chain assessment. And these tools really try to get at some of the underlying causes for inequalities in, um, between men and women in how they can benefit and participate in the value chain. So to develop the toolkit we first looked at what are some of the aspects that we really that we need to look at in these tools. So one of the things is decision making and really the process of decision making within the house. So then not just for the value chain but also in other aspects of people's lives. Then it's about roles and responsibilities. How do men and women spend their times? Not just again on productive um, roles but also on, on roles within the household and within the community. Um, then another important aspect are these relationships that uh, are not just the relationships in the chain but also in how, how power dynamics within the household and within the community. And then the really innovative and interesting part I think is, is the way that we've tried to look at gender norms through uh, drawings, eliciting opinions from people and really starting to get them to to discuss them and uh, women amongst themselves, men amongst themselves but also between men and women. And finally, we had an exercise where, where people really have to start voting with their feet on, and on different statements and then that, that also was, was intended to generate discussion. To give you some examples, uh, it's, it's for example about um, relationships in the chain that go beyond just the relationship between value chain actors but also for example how a value chain actor relates to people within the household and the community. So and this is all about uh, trying to understand how, how women in particular are limited by this social context, but also how they're supported by um, people in the household. For example, uh, um, a mother-in-law might be supportive to her daughter-in-law, helping her to participate in the value chain by uh, taking care of the children, for example, so that she has time to do other things. Uh, but it's also about understanding how in society maybe husbands may not be uh, allowed to support their wives doing domestic work because they'll be, they'll be laughed at by, by other men. So it's really trying to understand the wider social and gender context in which these value chains operate. So these tools, uh, of course, needed to be tested. So what we've done is we've used those in, uh, in Bangladesh to really validate whether they work or not. And we integrated them into a value chain, sort of a standard value chain analysis. Um, so some of the things that uh, we found were, were that indeed there are a lot of uh, social and gender norms that, that limit women from participating fully in the value chain and benefiting fully. So to give you one example, um, women, it, it's, it's frowned upon if women are seen in the marketplace. So they cannot go out and sell their own fish except for at the homestead pond to their neighbors or relatives. It, it of course depends on, on the social context of the particular community. In some communities it's, 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 uh, uh, women are a bit more mobile than in others. But uh, generally, uh, women feel that other people would speak ill of them if they go into the market. So they, they realize what that means for them in terms of their incomes because it means that they have to ask someone else to go f sell for them. They may have to pay this person or they don't have control over where it's sold, at what price it's sold and uh, they may not, yeah, in the end receive the full, the full benefits from selling that fish.